Mike Moore Media. Let's check in with our friends at Stokes County Arts Council. Executive Director Eddie McGee is on the line. Hey, Eddie, welcome back. Good morning, Mike Moore. Great to be back, and I hope you are well today. Well, I am. Thank you very much. And I say welcome back to the podcast. You haven't gone anywhere. It's not like you've been on vacation. You never stop. You never stop working. I'm I'm sitting in the same chair I was last time we talked. I don't know that I've even moved from this spot. I've just been waiting for this opportunity once again. Yeah. Well, here it is. It's presented itself another time here. And it's always a pleasure to talk to you, Eddie. And so many good things happening with the Stokes County Arts Council. So bring us up to the minute. Yeah, we're wide open, Mike. Uh, It's just, uh, yeah, as the the temperatures warm up and the folks are just flocking to Hanging Rock every weekend. So we're, we've got a a really stout lineup of arts opportunities and classes. And um, I know our, our current gallery exhibit right now in the Apple Gallery, uh, for Sci Technical Community College faculty visual arts exhibit, and wow, uh, I cannot describe it in words. I just got to tell folks, if you're over near Danbury and Hanging Rock, you got to come into the Apple Gallery and see uh, this this show. It is um, um, it's eccentric. Well, I've seen everything from leather jackets, uh, old maps from from like history, high school history rooms that have been reused for purposes, Mm -hmm. uh, oil paintings, sculptures. Man, we run the gamut on this one, Mike. Uh, And and again, it's it's hard to describe in words. It's very colorful. Uh, It's very unique. Um, Creative. (laughs) Creative seems like a good word. Very creative. (laughs) And and again, uh, so, so this is our first installment of working with Forsyth Technical Community College. Again, this is faculty art, and we're working on a, uh, scheduling a student show in the near future as well. But um, the reception night is, is March 3rd, so that will be next Friday, a week from this Friday. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but, but come on, you know, again, it, it's, it's worth stopping in. It, it really pushes a lot of buttons, and uh, just uh, it's definitely going to... Uh, some conversation. <laughs> we will yeah. encourage conversation. That's good. That's it, always good. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, is. yeah, I'm, I'm looking on your uh, your Facebook page, and I see actually uh, something here for Scythe Tech Stokes County Center and some of the uh, yes. examples. So, yeah, just a, a little sample there right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Phenomenal. So please come, come and see that. We've got, uh, you know, this Sunday would have been the 91st birthday of the man in black. Yep, I'm playing some Arguably Johnny Cash the, on my morning program yeah, Friday. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Uh, arguably the you know the biggest figure in country music history, and um, I, I think everybody I, I don't know of anybody that can really say anything bad about Johnny Cash. He was just such a prominent figure, and and he stood for what he stood for, and and spoke his mind. But we've got a fabulous show for this Sunday: Johnny and June tribute show, uh, Trina Barnes. And Jonathan Birchfield and their band, and uh, it's 3 p.m. at the Art Place of Stokes, and they're going to be doing all the hits. And uh, we're just gonna we're gonna celebrate the Man in Black. And um, uh, Jonathan is um, he's been playing in Nashville for years. He's toured with Jimmy Buffett. Uh, he's toured with a lot of big name artists. But Trina Barnes will be June Carter on Sunday, and she actually was on Broadway playing June Carter. Mm. In a Broadway show based on Johnny and June, so uh, we're bringing in the big guns for the for the 91st birthday of the Man in Black, Mike, and excited yeah. about that. Tickets still remain. Again, this Sunday, February 26th at 3 p.m. What a show that is going to be! Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Johnny and, and uh, June show yeah. Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then we're we're going to get into March very quickly. Um, March 18th. I'm going to jump ahead to March 18th. The Gathering. And this is a play. Um, it'll be at the Arts Play Saturday, March 18th. It is based on the Trail of Tears. Uh, mm-hmm. any, if, for folks that are uh, familiar with the outdoor drama up in Cherokee, uh, to these hills, this is a this is a brand new program uh, based out of Cherokee, Cher- Cherokee Historical Association, and we're the first stop on this tour. And it's called the Gathering, and again, it's 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 a retelling of the Trail of Tears, smaller cast, a younger cast. It's it's uh, all the cast members are teenagers or early twenties, mm. and uh, we'll be in Stokes Middle School's 
all of that week, March 14th, 15th, and 16th, and then the 18th, we are, uh, we're here at the Arts Place with the gathering. So uh, really focus on our Native American history, and uh, uh, this, this performance lasts about an hour, a little over an hour, so uh, 4 p.m., and um, we'd love to see people come out. Again, this is, this is the start of the tour, mm-hmm. so that you'll be hearing a lot more of this down the road. Well, and, and of course, you're, you've are you got it first, like you do so many firsts we, there at Stokes County Arts we, Council. Yeah. We try so hard. We really do I like know, to try I to know. reach well, out and, and, yeah. and be a little different. Yeah. Uh, March 19th, Carly Airwood, fabulous uh, female fiddle player, bluegrass, uh, old time music, and uh, she'll be here with her band. That's March 19th uh, at 3 p.m. Carly's a former fiddle player with uh, Darren and Brooke Aldridge and uh, several other bands. I know she's performed with John Callen, and she's a North Carolina girl uh, up around the Marion area, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but she'll be here on March 19th, and that is a free show. So we're actually going to be inviting all of our junior Appalachian musician students and parents. That's another program that we have. So we're excited about uh, March 19th, Carly Arrowwood, uh, just very high-quality music. Um, and you mentioned something we were talking uh, before our uh, – before we went on air, mm-hmm. but on March 21st, uh, Foothills Farm Festival, this is National Ag Day, and a lot of partners are coming together to celebrate National Ag Day on March the 21st. Uh, the uh, Stokes Ag Extension Office, Stokes County Arts Council, Stokes County Schools, and organizers of Foothills Farm Festival, which are Robert and Cheryl Knight principally. And so uh, on this day, we're going to be up in Lawsonville at the Knight Farm, We've got uh, field working. Uh, there's going to be different clinic, clinics, uh, folk life demonstrations, livestock handling. It's an educational day for farmers and for Stokes County School students. Uh, so we're excited about that partnership, Mike. Uh, and, and as we were talking earlier, it's just the foundation for a lot of rural America mm-hmm. is in farming and agriculture. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, so this is a partnership we're extremely proud to be a part of it here at the Arts Council. Okay, so that's uh, that's about a month away from yesterday, a month from yes. yesterday, as a matter of fact. Yeah, okay. Yes. Foothills so, Farm uh, Festival, you yeah. know, and, and, and the, the value of that is uh, it just, um, for generations there, when you think about it. Yeah, well, when, again, it's so important, and I know we've spoken about this many times before, just knowing where your food comes from, mm-hmm. knowing your heritage, your history. Um, a lot of the music of our area is tied so much to our agriculture, and uh, it, it goes. It, I mean, it goes back as long as this country has been in existence, and uh, it's so important for us to maintain that history, celebrate that history, make sure that that, that heritage is passed on uh, to the next generation. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we, we get so we're so spoiled, Mike. We're just going in a grocery store and going through the produce aisle and just picking stuff up, and uh, or even when we go to to uh, uh, farmers Appreciation Days, or or just things like that, uh, where we it's just important to know where know you know who's growing our food, mm-hmm. and and these are people that live in our community. So uh, excited, excited. So yes, me, I'm I'm uh, excited with you. That's a great program. There. Okay. <laughs> and then and on our website, we also have some classes. I haven't posted these on our social media pages yet, but I know we have upcoming. Uh, classes and we have pottery classes. I think we got some um, stained glass class. So our classes are really beefing up, and we're going to be promoting a lot of those in the next few days. Try to get people out and educate them, and uh, have them take home some beautiful artwork. And uh, that's just what we do. And we're just, uh, like I said, we're extremely busy, and um, and just excited, very excited. Oh, and I need to mention. I'm going to mention one other thing. I know. I, last, I think last time we were on. Kind of gave you a heads up on a Dolly Parton play mm-hmm. oh, yeah. uh, that was coming up in June, and uh, we'll have more about that later. But uh, also, I want to mention April 22nd, uh, we're going to be posting this very soon. And since Mike Moore is a special guy, we're going to we're going to mention this real quickly. Oh, boy. April 22nd is Earth Day, and we're doing a hike that day, uh, and it's called the Stars to Sunrise Hike at Hanging Rock State Park, and. Uh, We'll hike up in the dark. We'll get to the top of the mountain, Moore's, Moore's Tower, and watch the sunrise. Then we all come back to the Arts Place of Stokes. Chef Mark Thrower with Shelton Vineyards is going to be uh, creating a farm-to-table breakfast for us all to enjoy. And uh, that's going to be our celebration of, of Earth Day. 
And then a little bit later, we'll also have uh, Old Men in Hats. We'll have a concert that day. All of this will be posted up uh, on our uh, Soaps County Arts Council website page and social media pages in the next few days. So, wow. Uh, <laughs> that uh, hike, yeah. that, that hike, how cool is that? You, have you never done that before, yeah. have you? Uh, we have not. We've done it. Uh, this is how it came to be. We've done it just individually. We've mm-hmm. never organized a, an actual event. But uh, this year, uh, you know, we always do reach the peaks in the fall, mm-hmm. which is reaching all the, the five, five highest peaks of Hanging Rock. But this one, a little different. We want to hike up in the dark, watch the sunrise. And just how amazing is that to be able to watch the sunrise mm-hmm. And then have this incredible breakfast, locally made, locally sourced breakfast by a chef. And, uh, again, with culinary arts, just the, the beautiful landscape of our creator we're watching and, and just uh, mm-hmm. trying to just do things different, Mike. Just mix it up, whether it's outdoor recreation, agriculture, uh, eating, uh, music, entertainment. That's, that's, we really just try to think outside the box here. And, and uh, we greatly appreciate Mike Moore. Uh, promoting all these things and being a partner with us. So there you go. Well, I appreciate the update on all the good things. And, you know, I'm thinking if uh, if people are not taking advantage of all of these wonderful opportunities uh, that you will not uh, get anywhere else uh, but right there at Stokes County Arts Council, uh, then you're, you're really missing out. Just some, of the, just some of the little things you've mentioned right there that are big things that, uh, you know, we, we, we really need to, uh, to take part in. So thank you, Eddie McGee. Yeah. Thank you, Mike, and again for the continued support. We love you over here and just uh, appreciate all you do for the for our area, uh, Rockingham, Stokes, and all of the area, and just for promoting good things and, and good community. So uh, uh, happy Ash Wednesday and, yes. and happy Be Humble Day. Yes, indeed. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. I appreciate you, and, you and, and your team at Stokes Arts. We'll talk again next month. Sounds good, buddy. Okay. Take care. Thanks. You too. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye-bye. That's our friend Eddie McGee, Executive Director of the Stokes County Arts Council. Yeah, I tell you, I'm so impressed every time we talk uh, about all of the good things that uh, they're making happen for us to get out and enjoy. You can get more information on Facebook at Stokes County Arts Council and at stokesarts.org.